Yeah, welcome back. So let's um, create the basic shape of uh, that rim. So um, first of all, let's uh, change the size of that image here to 32. I know that fits a little bit better to what I've modeled before. Okay, um, let's create a polygon pipe first. Um, hit 5 to go to shaded mode. Um, let's rotate that 90 degrees. Okay. And let's set the radius to 3 and the subdivision axis to 18. Okay. So the thing is, I try to start, you know, to, to create two pieces. So the inner ring of that rim and then the outer ring. And then I'm going to connect this together to create the spokes. So let's create another polygon pipe. I'll rotate that 90 degrees again. This time we change uh, the radius to something about 10. Um, and the subdivision axis um, to 180. So if you're going to the side view, mm, let me turn off that grid. Um, as I mentioned before, I got an icon on my shelf um, to turn that on and off. So yeah, if you have a look on, uh, at this, um, looks yeah comes pretty close to, to the rim in the background. Um, Okay, go back to perspective view and let me turn on wireframe on shaded. So since Maya 2009, I guess um, there's a little button up here in the viewport so that you can turn on and off um, wireframe on shaded. Uh, you can also go to shading and turn that on and off Yeah, uh, in that drop down menu. Okay. So if you take a look um, on the image in the background, you see that the rim has got um, six pairs of spokes. So I try to yeah, model only two spokes and then yeah rotate that around and connect that back together. So all right, so let's um, try to create the first two spokes. Um, go to the inner ring and go to face mode. Select both faces and um, extrude those out. Go to extrude. Mm, extrude those out. Um, and I don't want those two two faces to be together, so let's turn keep faces together off. And there you go. Um, bring that a little bit closer to the outer ring. Um, and as you can see, even if I uh, scale that down, um, yeah, that doesn't really fit up here. So we have to rotate um, either the inner ring or the outer ring. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to rotate the outer ring. Okay, so let's rotate that in uh, and Y. I think uh, something like five, five degrees should work. Yeah, and as you can see now, um, those faces are uh, you know um, a little bit better to to connect. Okay, so now we can uh, go in there and um, connect um, those two pieces. Um, before we do that, we have to combine those. Um, Okay, select both of them, um, shift select, and go to this little button up here and say combine. Okay, so now with that done, um, let's uh, delete a few faces here, um, the corresponding faces. Um, delete those, and those two. Okay, so. Um <coughs> What you can do now is um, you can use um, different um, tools. Um, go to vertex. I mean, you could go in and uh, go to, you know, hit the V key and middle mouse and uh, drop that onto uh, the corresponding vertex. But yeah, and then in the end, you have to to merge those vertices together. Um, I'm I'm using a tool that's called um, Merge Vertex Tool. So you just uh, click on one um, vertex and just uh, hold the left mouse button and, and drop it onto the cor corresponding or whatever vertex you want to put it on. Um, so it automatically merges those together. I mean, that's what the name says, Merge Vertex Tool. Okay, so that's the first spoke. Do this with the second spoke. Okay, and one more left. All right. Okay, so 
let me zoom out um, the next thing is uh, go to face and uh, select one face uh, on the outer ring uh, shift um, and then double click uh, to the next face here that should select um, you know all the the faces uh, on the outer ring okay so I want to bring this out a little bit more I think it's a little bit too narrow here um, okay hit me uh, let me just scale that um, Scaling this uh, in X only that doesn't help at all. So let me undo that. Um, okay, so go to um, the quad view right here. So let me zoom that in from the side. As you can see, this could be a little bit wider here. So if you hit Control and then um, scale of the faces in X, um, that's going to work fine. So let me scale that out a little. Yeah, maybe just a bit more okay I think that's that's good enough okay back to perspective um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is um, add a few cuts in here so let me select one edge in here um, okay and then control right click go to edge ring utilities and then to edge ring and split um, I want two splits in here, so go to your inputs, uh, go to the poly split, split ring that we just created, um, and set it from a relative to, to multi, multi. Okay, so let's do the same um, on the inner part here. So select one edge and just hit G on your keyboard to repeat last, and then go to the inputs and set it to multi as well. So with uh, the two inside edge loops uh, selected, let me select the, um, the other two that we just uh, made here. Uh, so uh, shift, double click on that, shift, double click on the other one. And then let me scale that out. Mm. So to bring it you know, a little bit closer to the uh, edge here, to the outer edge, like this, okay. So that's gonna define um, you know the 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 edges uh, when when we are going to smooth it. Um, if you want to have a look on the smooth smooth version, just hit uh, three on your keyboard. Um, okay, go to object mode. Let me turn off wireframe on shaded for a second. Um, yeah, I think you know I'm looking at the edge right here. Um, yeah, I can live with that. That's okay. So hit one to go to um, low poly um, view. Okay, 